everybody, Camelia here. Welcome back to a new Knit Mode magazine uh, flip through. Today we are taking a look at the latest uh, or the last Knit Mode of the year, issue 12. So let's take a look to see what we get in this uh, in this uh, issue. As the first page here is saying to us from the editor from uh, Knit Mode, we are getting the basic plus fashion so a little bit i'll say like we got also in the burda a little bit of uh, classic stars that can be um with added details can get a little bit that extra you know so i think we get here well i did see the patterns already so in my opinion we get here a little bit of the same although i find that in this uh, issue here how the patterns are together they are going a little bit more um, more easier together and also the theme in uh, if I was to compare with the Burda. Um, here you can see a small preview of the patterns and um, there are not all of them here as usual or they are all, I'm not sure. Well, there I think there are all of them. But uh, maybe there are not all the options. So the first, uh, we get first in those uh, uh, items that we can still make for uh, the Christmas party and the end and the the end of the year party. So we get here a really pretty dress. You can see it a little bit better here. Um, here is made uh, sleeveless. It has a beautiful neckline. We cannot really see it here on the model. Also here not. It's the same uh, neckline, but it's really hard to see. But as you can see here, I think there are three pleats that they are going in a bigger pleat here on the shoulder. The neckline is a little bit uh, sitting up. But the cool thing about this dress here is the fact that the, the upper part of the dress or so the bodice is made in, um, I think the, this is a viscose polyester with uh, stretch. This has 5% uh, stretch, so it's pretty comfortable. But the lower part of the dress, um, in this one here, is made out of uh, pontinid. So I think it's a very comfortable dress. Um, there is an invisible zipper in the back here and as you can see the or at least from what I can see here in the drawing and a little bit here the bodice is getting um, gathered into this uh, pontinid skirt there are two back darts on the skirt and the length is a I suppose a midi length but you know it could be easily made a little bit shorter then we have this dress here and to be honest I really love the, the the drawing of the pattern but I am not a big fan of this although the fabric is beautiful I think in this um, in this dress it's really serving no good it's serving no good on the model no good on the design of the dress just because you get this really big square here in front which is making I think is making her really wide and it's totally losing the design anyway because of the print but um, if we take a look here at the at the drawing you can see that it's actually the same upper part as this one here only you get in this one you get the sleeves so this is really cool that you can you can add also on this one you can add some sleeves you know if you have it cold and there is something else different here for the bodies they made the back with an um with a slit which is getting closed by uh let's see three buttons but I was thinking you know if you really like this dress made with the skirt and stuff like that you can always just uh, put the zipper you know all the way up like they did here or maybe but you know the idea is to show the skin but you probably also show your bra if you have a bra with a with a band in the back um, for this um, one here they used a different skirt and um, I took a look at the pattern pieces. I just want to mention because somebody mentioned uh, in the from uh, in a comment on the Buddha video I don't really want to show the pattern pieces because I'm not sure if that is allowed um, Here on YouTube and I'm afraid that if I'm showing that then they're going to Erase delete my video and all the work is for nothing But I'm going to try to send them an email and to ask how uh, is that? Um, what are the opinions on that? 
uh, or the rules actually, not the opinions on that. But uh, let's take a look here at the skirt. So in this case, the skirt is made in the same fabric. This is um, also is a satin, but also in this one there is um, um, elastane. So this is also a stretchy satin. Um, and this one has quite a bit of stretch. It has 12% elastane in it, so it's probably nice and comfortable. But here you can see the skirt is actually, you get the full pattern of the skirt, so it's just a pencil skirt, front, uh, a full piece of the front, front and two backs. And then actually this uh, piece here where you have this uh, um, gathered, pleated detail, actually the, the, the bottoms are keeping this in place. This is uh, just a different piece of fabric that is sewn into the side seam. So it's, uh, it's not like it's a true wrap, it's a four wrap I would say. So here you have an extra piece of, this is just a piece, extra piece of uh, fabric. Next we have a pretty basic um, blouse. This one is also made in a, uh, what is this, it's a polyester with stretch. It's looking a little bit like a satin but I think it's just because of the picture. It has a classic um, color here, as you can see. I'm not sure if this is shape, although in the drawing here you cannot see anything, but here in the drawing it's looking like it's a little bit shaped. And it has, um, I think it's just, I'm not sure how what is supposed to be here. I suppose it's a, it's a small band where the, uh, and the sleeve is getting gathered into. I see gathers here, I see no gathers here. And you have these long ties. Um, then we have this, um, um, what is called, is a dress, it's not a, they call it here robe manteau, so robe will be the dress and manteau will be the jacket, but you know it's, uh, it's something that you can go either way with it. This one is made in a, in a jacquard, I kind of like it, I, I think this is a very nice detail here, you can see nothing here of course, but the splits here they are really nice and um, you can definitely make this one in a coat, I think. It will be really, really beautiful. It has a two-piece sleeve. As you can see here, here is also a sleeve, a sleeve, a slit made in the sleeve. If you make this as a coat, you could add some nice little bottoms. Um, I wonder how it's closed, this dress. I suppose there will be some press buttons or something like that. Otherwise... Or is, uh, let's see, or is a true wrap? No, this one is a true wrap from what I can see here. But if you were to make this one as a dress, as a, as a coat, I suppose you could always um, sew, let's see, you could always sew here um, a small tie in the side so that you be able to tie your jacket here onto the side could be possible and eventually add a button to uh, catch the inside um, the inside part of the jacket to catch it here with a button on the side seam that's possible then we have here a pattern which is you know they have every month this uh, uh, do-it-yourself pattern you know it's uh, it's something to try your hand at it I'm not a big, big fan of it so let's get to a better pattern, which is this one, which is a really, really cool one. I really love this one. It's made in a um, water-resistant fabric. Very, very nice. I love the pockets. They have a little uh, photo uh, picture tutorial on their website. Uh, there is a weld pocket underneath here, underneath this flap. I like that the flaps are going a little bit together with the tabs on the sleeves. This one here is even the shorter version of this little trench coat and you'll see it later also as a longer version. And here is a hip length, very very nice, you have a wind, what is the name, a windshield or something like that, very nice. And if I'm not mistaken, it, um, or I think it's only for the big one, but also for this one you could, uh, there are uh, I think uh, press buttons underneath to keep it uh, close. I really love these two. These ones are so beautiful. This one is made in a um, navy fabric. I'm not sure what kind of fabric this is. Gabardine, this one, and probably this one too. Very, very beautiful. Uh, this is really nice. Also, the styling is very beautiful. This one also with the pumps and the jeans. I, I really love this one. 
I hope I'll have the time to give it a try. Very, very, very nice. Love the color and all the little details. Just beautiful. And this one, which sizes is this one made? They don't put the sizes here. But as we know, let's see, this is a trench 2A. And it's really nice that they are working with the letters, I noticed, because, uh, let's see, this one is in sizes uh, 34 to 54. What is nice by working with these uh, 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 letters, so you have 2A, 2B, 2C, you know that there is a variation on the same pattern. As you can see here, this is 2A, and then you have 2B, and then you have 2C. So that's handy, and you'll see it later also in, with another pattern. Um, and here you have some little details from the same. This one is made in a cotton, a little bit um, st um, sturdier one. Um, then we have some um, more um, wrap uh, style garments. We have here a little blouse with elastic at the at the bottom of the sleeve, and also here this is uh, this one of the the so to say the the right. Is it the right? The right one is going underneath, but I'll do it the other way around, that the right is over the left. But it's really going through the a hole on the side seam, so it's like a true wrap, but not really. Um, it has an invisible zipper in the back, and they advise also maybe to use a fabric with just a little bit of uh, stretch in it to make it even more comfortable. Then we have, uh, so this is blouse number 15. And then we have here 9B, and what this is saying to us, that is telling us that there are more variations on the same pattern. So on this one, on 9B, it's a, it's a, um, it's a blouse, obviously, it's a blouse and it's looking like it's a wrap style blouse. Only, uh, the thing is that uh, in this pattern, you have on the inside here, you have a V neckline um, top actually underneath and these uh, pieces are just getting sewn um, into the side seams so you have an extra layer on on this blouse I really like the sleeves with the deep cuffs here very nice love the pleats a little bit pity that we cannot really see the pleats here very good and then we have uh, dress 9a which is the sister of the other one, of the blouse, of course. And as you can see here, this is the underneath layer, which is actually a V-neckline uh, dress. And then you have these uh, extra um, pieces that are getting sewn onto the side seams. Well, obviously here the sleeves also. Um, well, not a lot to say about it. It's a really nice, I think it's a nice, uh, it's a nice design. And of course, if you have, of course, if you have that inside fitted, then the rest is, is really easy. Um, then we have this dress, this is the, the cover dress, and this one here is made, actually it's, it's, it's a really fun uh, fabric, because it's one that it has um, sequins sewn onto it, so it's a little bit of a, a classic and a fun um, kind of fabric. I really like it in this uh, in this fabric too. Again, it's a it's a nice design. I see here some metered corners on the sleeves, also nice. Again, you could always add some buttons. Very nice. Then we have here a variation on the dress that we got in the last um, issues. You know the dress that we got a few months back, and then we got different sleeves. And here, this one is made is cut with a center front seam, with an uh, with this panel on stripes to make it like a chevron uh, motif, and then some added um, um, bands and stuff like that. But before we take a look at the all the patterns, we can go a little bit further because there are some more nice patterns in this issue. First one we see here the mini me uh, blouse of this month is a blouse. It has some. It's. it's uh, I have mixed feelings about this one. Even on, on the little girl, I'm not very excited about it. It has um, 
maybe just because it's looking really long on the sleeves. It has some pleats here on the top of the sleeve, although here it's not looking like it's a, it does look like a drop shoulder, but actually it's a really drop shoulder, almost like a little cut on sleeve here. And uh, the pleated sleeve that is coming uh, down, you have two layers here at the bottom. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about this one. Then we have a, an, one time more the blouse from earlier and you know, I don't know if you noticed, they show this, they show us the patterns. I think the most of them are shown on both uh, sizes. We've seen this in the bigger size a little bit earlier. And here we see also this really cool pair of pants. I really like the, the, the shape of the leg and these ones I'm going to make them for this month together with, with two other items that you'll see in a minute. So again it's really the same blouse and here is a pant with a nice white leg, darts in the back, uh, probably I'm going to skip these pockets or maybe change them a little bit, add some slash pockets. Um, they made it here in a crepe but uh, I intend to use a little bit more uh, sturdier fabric. And then we have one of my favorite patterns together with those pants. And this is a very, uh, it's, uh, there are actually four patterns a little bit on the same pattern. So you have, let's, let's start with, uh, this is the top five, which is actually, it has also some pieces from the, from the bodies. Uh, the top, you can see it here, it's really hard to see any details, but actually there are, um, the upper part of the bodies is getting gathered here under the bust. The back, it has a center back seam, which is really nice, uh, nicely shaped. You can, of course, you cannot see it here, but it has a nice shape onto it. So this, you, you have to keep that, that uh, center back seam. And here they made it with a narrow sleeve, which you find also in these other uh, two uh, executions of this uh, style. Um, then we have here a body stocking which it has a uh, wrap style uh, bodies and uh, again is with with this uh, with the same narrow sleeve as the one before nice uh, bounded neckline the same style as here then we have another um, variation on the same this is a turtleneck but i think they did the last month or the, the month before they did the other turtleneck only here I see that the the the, um, the neck part, the cowl part, it's a really is really really wide. So you have to take that into account. You really need to use for this one. You can see it actually here too. You really need to use a very soft fabric. I'm going to make this one, and it has the same cowl. I'm I'm making it in a um, viscose jersey, and you really need to have that because it's it's a lot of fabric. And in a viscose jersey, it's just draping really nicely. You can see here it's made. What is this? This is a little bit. Uh, this is a stretch velvet, and you can see it's just a little bit more bulkier than this one from her. Um, also, this one is not a viscose. This one is a PK, but also this one has a little bit more body than um, just a basic viscose jersey. But this one again, this one is a really standard um, uh, top. Uh, turtleneck and if you made the one from uh, two months ago you know the one that it has that had that ruching insertion here on the sleeve you know the size on that one you can totally uh, use the cowl and uh, if you really like this cowl here they have also a video tutorial on this but I think the from all these four I like the most this one which I'm going to make and this one that I'm working on it right now this one has a really cool sleeve Again, it's a body stocking, it has the center back seam is very nicely shaped, so this is something that I advise to keep if you make this. And the sleeve on this one is really, really nice. It's uh, actually, it has a really high uh, cap here. You insert a piece of elastic somewhere here to here, 13 centimeters of uh, clear elastic, which is going to scrunch it up a little bit. And then here on the shoulder, and I have the piece here, here on the shoulder actually there is also a little bit like, um, how should I call it, like um, um, uh, um, 
I'm not coming on my words. <laughs> you know, like you have a shoulder pad is actually is the same. It's actually an insertion of the fabric that you use for your garment, but depending on the fabric that you use for your garment, um, I, I suppose you need to, to keep in mind that if you use this velvet, I will use something much softer. But they use a layer, a double layer of the fashion fabric and then also a layer of uh, tulle. So all this is going to get uh, gathered like so and then it's getting so, although I need to check because I think I find it a lot of fabric to put it on the top of the sleeve. It's not looking so full here, but I wonder if this is not too much, I need to check. And also the sleeve itself is getting gathered before it's getting uh, inserted into the, um, into the garment. So I'm, uh, this, I'm really curious how the whole thing is going to look. I must say that um, I find the fit on this, I don't know what for um, jersey block they are using, the, the, for, for stretchy fabrics, but this is so great. I make, it's very constant, I, make, I made again um, my usual size drafting for the length for uh, of, or drawing you know from the pattern uh, for a smaller length si size for the smaller uh, length and for the width the one uh, according to the um, uh, measurements and it fits so so nice I'm, I'm really surprised even with the whole body stocking thing so keep this channel uh, on the loop and you'll see my uh, my body stocking in a few days. Then we have here, they call it a workwear. Hmm, I'm not sure about that, what kind of work you'll do with this. But, the, I mean, be just because it's way too nice to go to work with this, you know, like working in the garden. <laughs> um, this is a really cool jumpsuit. I really love this. You could easily make this one as a jacket as it is. Maybe add like um, a waistband here, like they use it here to connect with the pants. Very, very nice. I really love the style of the sleeve. You know, it's a little bit drop shoulder, but not too much. And with the pockets and also the fabric, they use the baby reef for it. A corduroy, very, very nice. I really love this one. Um, on a variation for the upper part of the jumpsuit, we have a blouson here. Although they don't show us here, there are two big darts. I'm not sure if they're also in the smaller sizes, but in the bigger sizes, they are definitely there the darts and if I'm not mistaken of course here in the jumpsuits too you can see here dart and I'll show you the next one also there is um, a little detail here there is a little um, um, brushing on the sleeve as you can see here not too much but the whole thing I really really like it and again you could easily make this in a jacket just add a little bit as a you know um, a waistband to give that jacket look more and even make it in a in a soft denim. Oh, that would look also nice. And it has a little pocket here on the sleeve as a detail. And then we have the uh, let's see, we have the pants from the jumpsuit. We have them also separate here, and they have made it here in. Let's see, what is this? Um, this is a denim, a black denim. But I will say that. I will never make this one in a denim or must be a soft denim because I'm afraid that it will be just a lot of fabric here in these splits. Although I will make the other pants, you know, that we've seen uh, a few pages uh, back without the pleats and the pockets, I will make those from, from denim. They will look really, really nice. But with these pleats combinations, I think I'll stay a little bit with a, with a softer fabric. And the pants from earlier, you know, the ones with uh, without the pleat, you can totally use them as a base or as a lower part for this jumpsuit. And you have, if you are, um, this is not a uh, knitting, but a um, crochet shawl or a scarf, I cannot crochet. And a little bit more variation for the dresses from earlier, you know, the ones we see the red one. Here we see it in the smaller sizes, this is size 38, size M. And also here they used a ponty knit for the skirt and what is this? And this is um, a rayon uh, for the upper part. Very nice, really love this detail. You can see the detail a little bit better in this one. And for this one they used a viscose poplin. Really, really cool. Uh, this is a really great dress, I love it. 
Again, I think I will skip this split here and just make it with a uh, with a with a zip. I think I will all I will get constantly cold here. And they did use a zipper for the lower part of the skirt. And then we have a very uh, we have only the skirt part from earlier. As I said, the skirt here is double. You have the normal skirt underneath, just the basic uh, um, pencil skirt, and you have here um, an extra layer, an overlay which is getting this uh, bottom uh, detail. Um, then we have this shirt. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this shirt. It's, I find that, that it's sitting funky and I think it's a matter of how you put those buttonholes to have it sit right. I'm not a big fan of this one. Although here it's looking interesting. How it's looking in the garment, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. This one I like, I really like the print, I like the colors, this is really really nice. And again this one is made in viscose and you see it here in, uh, I think in the same size 38. And a few details for the dress, as you can see here as a split and I wonder if they added this little closure here to hide the bra, probably, which is very uh, smart. Really nice detail on the shoulder the button detail here from the skirt and the deep uh, the deep cuffs from the you know from the funky uh, purple blouse from here I hope somebody's going to make this one I really want to see this one in real life or maybe they have a video you know they started to put back the videos on the website maybe I need to check it out there and then we can see a little bit from what to expect next month um, we have a, a dress with a bow, we have a um, skirt and some more uh, cool uh, and stylish uh, garments, we'll have to wait. So this was Knip Mode for a month, uh, for the latest, uh, the latest Knip Mode of 2023, where we get next month another one, but that will be already 2024. And uh, here you can take a look at all the patterns. Again, they put everything on their website. You have all the patterns there. You can see more pictures with a little bit of luck also videos. And if the videos are not there yet, they are uh, probably going to come online. If I was to choose my favorites, I'm going to say starting from the beginning, the trench coat is just really great. I love it. I love everything about it. Um, and not to forget that all these three are lined, which is great. You don't need to make yourself uh, the lining. This one here is a smart design with that underlay underneath and the, um, the layers that are actually the, 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 the wrapping things uh, on, the, on the garment. Of course, we see it here as a blouse. This one I also like. I really like the blouse and probably could make also the blouse without the skirt. Uh, let's see the wrap uh, dress from the cover is also nice. I'm not a big fan of this one here. I love the variations on this body stocking and I cannot wait to show you mine. Love the blue zone which gives also the nice possibility to make it as a jacket. I'm not a big fan of this one. I really want to see it in action. This one is also a nice um, blouse with that uh, wrapping effect here at the waist and of course we have the pants. And the combination with the blue zone from here, you can make actually the jumpsuit in combination with the pants, without the pleats and with the pleats. And maybe make the, the, with the pleats in the baby rib that they used, it's looking really, really nice. And for um, the crochet fence, they have the scarf, which they forgot to put it here. <laughs> So everybody, I hope you enjoyed my, uh, my, my flip through. I will uh, see you next time with uh, the next magazines, the Patrones, the Burda and of course the Knip Mode to see what, with what we start uh, next year. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Happy sewing. Bye.